Hey everyone, so today I am upgrading my HP Z440 workstation with an NVIDIA RTX 360. I am a data engineer and I want to start experimenting with AI models and some other resource intensive stuff. This old setup just isn't cutting it anymore. So I thought I would walk you through what I am doing in case anyone else is trying to do a similar upgrade on their own. Let's get started. First thing first, I already unplugged the power cable but I also press the power button for a few seconds to drain any leftover electricity. A little habit I picked up to make sure things are safe when I am working inside the case. Definitely recommend it. So here it is, the RTX 360. This is a huge step up from NVIDIA Quadro 310 which I currently have in here. I am hoping this upgrade will give me the extra power I need to run some AI models and heavier data processing tasks, which my current GPU just can't handle. I am really hoping it will make a noticeable difference. Alright, let's open up the workstation and see what's inside. Here's the old Quadro 310 I was talking about. It's actually done pretty well for regular tasks, but it's definitely not built for any kind of work I want to do now. There is a latch on the PCI slot here, so I'll press that down to release it and carefully pull out the cart. If you are doing this yourself, just take it slow. No need to force anything. Now here's something that might come up if you are upgrading to a newer cart. The RTX 360 requires an 8-pin connector, but this power supply only has a 6-pin. Luckily, I have a 6-pin to 8-pin adapter, so I'll just use that to make sure it gets the right amount of power. A simple fix, but it's something to be aware of. Alright, time to put the 360 in. I line it up with the PCI slot and gently push it down until it clicks in place. With these larger GPUs, it's a good idea to make sure everything's seated properly and securely. Now, this is where I ran into an interesting issue. Turns out, the RTX 360 is a bit larger and the layout inside this HP workstation makes it hard to close the case completely. The internal components are actually bumping into the card, so to make it fit, I might have to remove or reposition a few things. Just something to keep in mind if you are trying this upgrade. It might take a bit of extra tinkering. So now the things are set up, let's turn it on and make sure everything's working. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. Let's check the device manager. And there we can see it, the RTX 360 is listed under display adapters. That's a relief. It means everything connected as it should. Now let's get the driver sorted out. If you don't have the NVIDIA control panel, you can download it online and the latest drivers are also available on NVIDIA site. I would recommend doing that for any new GPU install. It will help you get the most out of the card. Now it's time to see what this thing can actually do. I'll run a quick test with Cinebench. Honestly, I'm already seeing a huge improvement. The RTX 360 is so much more powerful than what I had before. This should really help with running those AI models and other tasks that need a bit of extra processing power. And that's it. The HP Z440 now has an RTX 360 and we are all set to tackle more intensive work. If you are thinking about upgrading an older workstation like this, hopefully this video gives you an idea of what to expect. Thanks for watching and good luck if you are trying out something similar.